All right, hello, welcome back to unit one, we're in section two. We're gonna call this section Animal Behavior Methods. I think that kind of fits the general theme of what we're dealing with in this section. Uh, we're gonna have several different videos because I'm gonna get you to go watch some videos and stuff too as we go through this section. So we're gonna start with this quote. Let's see if I can not butcher his name. Theodosius Dobshansky, I think. Uh, Nothing in biology makes sense except in the light of evolution. And this is a big concept, I would say, throughout the animal behavior course. We'll get back into, again, this goes back to the proximate versus the ultimate questions. And honestly, it's a bit of stuff that sometimes I probably don't care as much about, but I probably shouldn't have said that, but we'll, we'll get into it as we move about here. So let's look at Carl von Frisch. Um, from 1956. He studied honeybee um, sensory perception and communication. He discovered that honeybees, um, Apis mellifera, mellifer use vision olfaction, which is smell, um, olfaction, excuse me. I'm, well, I'm trying to put two Fs there, um, and taste to find food. Uh, more so, he found bees communicate distance and direction of the food source to the others in the hive by a waggle dance. So you probably have heard about the famous waggle dance with how the bees waggle. The number of waggles, I think, has to do with the direct um, with the distance. And then they always do things relative to the direction of the hive and the sun and so forth. So we'll probably come back and talk more about the waggle dance later on. But he was one of the early, early animal behaviorists that we deal with in this course. Conrad Lorenz in 1950 is very big with imprinting. We'll come back and talk briefly about him, but we're gonna go ahead and do a little bit here. Uh, imprinting, most of you have probably heard about, you know, when like a duck or a bird of any sort hatches from the egg, the first thing it sees is its mother. And that's probably a little bit more of oversimplification, but Basically, a lot of birds, such as goslings, which are baby goose, geese, will imprint on the sight and sound of their mother or on other objects that they see at hatching. And so he famously um, had some goslings or even, I think, some ducks maybe that would actually um, follow him around you know, in a motherly style. They imprinted on him. And so he determined that there is a restricted period of time there's a small window of time where this imprinting can occur so he did a lot of the work on that and just about every picture you ever find of Lorenz is going to be with some ducks or geese as he they follow him around going back to Tin Bergen Tin Bergen again is you know very big in the early realms of animal behavior 1951 or so uh, studied instinct behaviors that are under strong genetic control uh, fixed action patterns is a big thing FAPs uh, these are invariant and unlearned uh, once initiated the action is brought to completion it's instinctual it's always the same every time once it's like you you start this process and it has to go to completion. Uh, his work was to attempt to understand the mechanism or release or stimuli that initiated these. A classic example of this is goose egg rolling. So in the case here, if the, um, this is a gray lag goose specifically, but if you put an object that looks like an egg, maybe it's another egg, and you bring it up next to this goose, the goose will see it outside of the nest and will immediately start rolling with its head. It uses its bill to roll that egg back to the nest like you can see in this habit here. And um, what's really interesting about this with the goose is that it doesn't even have to be an egg. It just has to kind of sort of look like an egg and the goose will initiate trying to get it back into the nest. And this is actually what's called a supernormal stimulus because it, again, it doesn't even have to be an egg. It can be anything that looks kind of sort of like an egg, and the goose will get into that as well. So let me pause here, get you to watch the video of that, and uh, we'll come back right after the click. 